almost every kid out there has been asked this question. What do you want to be when you grow up? Personally, I don't get the relevance of this question because majority of adults don't even know who they are. And yet we seem to expect kids to know. Anyway, that's beside the point of the conversation today. The reality is that for many kids, due to uh, social conditioning or parental control, some of their answers will involve a career that is on the list of these dying professions. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Nikki Bird. I am the author of the best-selling book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. And if you love this content, I need something from you to help grow this community. I need you to share this video on your favorite social media platform so that more people can get this message. I also need you to hit the like button and leave a comment below. And remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. In many ways, the future is already here. The impact of artificial intelligence over the next decade is expected to completely transform the business landscape and no industry or profession will be left untouched. Businesses around the globe are incorporating artificial intelligence, robotics and self-service checkouts into their operations to cut costs and improve efficiencies. Automation is free from human biases and this is where the world is heading. Major companies and big corporations are going to employ fewer people to get a lot more done with more precision and better quality. With the rise of automation, some fields, especially within the white collar jobs, are slowly becoming threatened. In time, some of these careers may even become completely obsolete. There will always be plenty of opportunities out there and not I said opportunities, not jobs. So there will always be problems to solve, things to fix and services to provide. However, the demand has already begun shrinking for certain professions and will continue to do so in the coming years. These jobs may not completely disappear overnight, but they are already in a state of decline. In my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted, I mentioned that until now, the jobs that were most vulnerable to machines were those that involved a routine, repetitive tasks. But thanks to the exponential rise in technology, computers are increasingly able to perform even complex tasks, tasks more cheaply and effectively than humans. And at this point, automation cannot be terminated. No one can put the genie back in the bottle. And so, in no particular order, the following are some of the dying professions you should avoid or at least proceed with caution. And the first on the list is cashiers. The retail industry is increasingly turning to automated machines to reduce labor cost, meaning the man or woman at the till will soon not be needed anymore. Advances in technology such as the use of self-service checkouts at retail stores and increasing online shopping are now our new realities. For many business owners, this is actually good news because computers don't steal from their employers, computers don't try to manipulate the system, and computers don't come late to work. Unlike humans, machines are reliable and trustworthy. Second on the list, uh, call center agents. There is significant change already happening in this industry. According to Tech Invest magazine, the chatbot market is expected or projected to grow from $2.6 billion in 2019 to $9.6 billion by 2024. A lot of conversation is ongoing about the future of call centers and it's unlikely that there will be a physical center anymore as digital uh, technologies and artificial intelligence chatbots are swapping in and replacing humans in this industry. A case in point is that of MultiChoice, uh, a satellite television network here in South Africa. In 2019, MultiChoice announced plans to lay off about 2,500 uh, employees of, at their call center. 
The reason for the retrenchment was because customers are increasingly moving away from traditional voice calls and visit to physical centers and are more uh, adopting self-service and digital technologies to engage with the company. At least that's what the company gave us the reason. So this wasn't about the call center agents not being competent or not being well trained enough, but this was simply because people prefer doing things online. And so the third on the list is IT support. These are also known as system or server administrators. Technology-based jobs are booming right now and the general advice seems to be that if you have some experience or skills in tech, then you are safe. But that's not entirely true because artificial intelligence isn't only replacing low skill level, but also now replacing complex jobs. With so much of computing becoming cloud-based, the general IT person who usually patrolled the office is becoming less and less relevant in today's workforce. This change is already happening across different industries. Last year, Standard Bank South Africa cut over 500 um, IT jobs. Who would have thought that IT jobs are at risk? Anyway, the fourth are middle managers. For anyone a little confused by these ones, these are essentially middle management positions. These are the people who sit between the senior managers and the junior managers. Typically, they are the ones who usually handle paperwork and act as a channel of communication within an organization. But the paper pushing uh, work being done by middle managers is increasingly being done by enterprise software like Oracle or Salesforce. And so if you are a middle manager, perhaps you can start focusing more on revenue producing functions like client relationships or new product development so that you can secure your future. The fifth on the list is lawyers. This one is probably the biggest surprise on the list and most people will probably throw their phones at me or something, but hear me out first. I believe the world will always need lawyers anyway. But a lot of the work they do or used to do is quickly being taken over by technology. Work once done by case researchers can now be done with increasingly sophisticated algorithm. There is an app called Do Not Pay, considered to be the world's first robot lawyer. The app was developed in the UK and it offers artificial intelligence powered legal counsel it fights corporation, it beats bureaucracy, and can sue anyone at the press of a button. This robot mines documents and offers solutions based on a series of questions that it asks. You could become a plaintiff on the strength of the document that it draws up from your answers. You know, imagine how many more apps like this will continue to emerge in the future. Number six financial planners the biggest digital revolution is happening is actually happening in the finance industry it's now easier than ever for people to assess the financial market as well as assess their personal account and see how their own portfolios are doing without necessarily having a third party task once performed by low-level retail financial planners are quickly being outsourced to planning softwares and apps like uh, the robo-advisors and investing algorithm. According to Investopedia, robo-advisors are likely to be employed by every financial firm in one capacity or another. In 10 years, they will likely be able to follow very sophisticated strategies that employ a measure of judgment regarding buy and sell market decisions. And so the next on the list are bankers or bank tellers. Mm, before you throw your phone at me, let me ask you, when last did you go to the bank or how often do you go to the bank? Probably not very often, right? Okay. Nowadays, banking transaction as, transactions are mostly being carried out via a smartphone and that's exactly what spells troubles for some bankers and bank tellers because a brick and mortar banking system isn't going to be around for so long. 
New technologies are drastically changing the banking industries in the front, the middle and the back office. Artificial intelligence and automation are proving to be valuable in ways never thought possible before. The customer is now being put at the center of every strategy and this means that the bank's priority is the customer, not the employee. So if the customer says, I don't want to stand on those queues anymore, and the bank, the bank employee says, I need my job, you know, I'm the only breadwinner, I have a family, or I'm a single mom, or I'm a single dad, and so on. Whose request do you think the bank will grant? You know, exactly my point. Artificial intelligence and other technological advancements will cause a lot of jobs in the banking industry to become completely redundant, you know. This is already happening and will only get worse. Banks are going digital and increasingly needing fewer and fewer physical branches. The less, the less physical branches, it means employees have to go. And as a result of this, you know, more people will lose their jobs. You know, take Standard Bank again, for example. Standard Bank is one of the biggest banks in Africa. And they closed 91 branches in South Africa alone. You know, this does not mean that banks will be completely run by robots or completely digital. No, this is to create awareness of the, of the, of the change and the revolution that is happening within the financial industry. Next on the list are fast food cooks. The promise of new technologies is that it will make routine and low paying jobs obsolete. And nothing is more symbolic of the bottom of the employment food chain than fast food cooks which is one of the few jobs on this list that requires, you know, less than a high school certificate. This is because fast food is increasingly becoming an automated industry. The owners of fat fast food chains find it cheaper to prepare food off-site and simply have employees reheat it in their stores. You know, that was unthinkable 10 years ago in most fast food businesses, but Today, technology has advanced to the point where the microwave version doesn't really like the flavor and taste, you know, of the cooked on-site version. And so businesses prefer the cheapest option, of course. And the next on the list is door-to-door -door salesperson. I think this one is obvious and quite a relief to some people who are happy they won't have to deal with a salesman knocking at their door. Online advertising is far more efficient than having someone to break the elements of electric fencing or of a protective dogs, you know, to knock at someone's door. And so for the digital nomads in the house who may be wondering what I'm talking about, well, door to door is a business convincing that um, is generally used for sales, marketing, and advertising, in which someone works from uh, someone works from the door of one house to the door of another, trying to sell or advertise a particular product or service to the general public. And so, because of online advertising, there is really no future in this particular type of profession. And the next on the line are detectives. Dear detective. It looks like you might have to find yourself in your career. You know, the rise of civilians, uh, cameras and spyware and DNA data banks make it easier to solve crime these days. This means that police work in future might focus more on criminal rehabilitation and reducing re-offenses and less on solving actual crimes. This also means the suspicious wifey industry will no longer need a private investigator to know if husband is cheating or not. I'm just saying. The next on the list are accountants. The conversation around the future of accounting profession is a controversial one as there are different schools of thought about the future of this particular profession. Some say accountants will always be here while others think that their days are numbered. Whatever your views are, the reality is that artificial intelligence, the internet of things, you know, blockchain, cloud computing are disrupting traditional accounting as we know it. Well, 
as with all major evolution, the change within accounting will not happen all at once, but it is already happening. Many businesses now have the choice of whether or not to use an accounting software or a human accountant. This choice did not exist before, and as technology continues to advance, businesses will be presented with even more apps and software to choose from. According to the Future of Jobs Report 2018, there is an uh, accelerating demand for data analysts, uh, scientists, big data specialists, digital transformation specialists, and information technology services. And this is good news for accountants who want to perhaps upskill themselves and transition because Accountants have the same behavior and competencies that overlap, you know, with these new emerging um, uh, professions. And so the next on the line is bookkeepers. Similar to accounting, bookkeeping is also like in ICU, you know. They are the people who keep the financial books for companies. They record transactions and make sure that financial books are accurate. Traditional bookkeeping is on its way out. That's the reality. Cloud or web-based apps and artificial intelligence are becoming the new norm for, for many businesses. You know, sites like QuickBooks uh, and Receipt Bank can automatically download your bank account information and prepare your books and even file your tax return so in the long run there will be no need for bookkeepers the next on the line are switchboard operators once again blame technology for the impending doom in this industry you know texting voicemail and other ai enhanced systems are making switchboard operators obsolete even sooner than projected there are already businesses that are using Amazon's Alexa to direct phone calls to the right recipients. And the next on the list are mortgage brokers. Technology is rapidly changing the property industry as well. You know, and just like any other industry, there is a real concern whether mortgage brokers are going extinct. Thanks to online brokers like uh, Rocket Mortgage and Guaranteed Rate that make uh, getting an online quote as easy as ABC. With artificial intelligence, blockchain and automation in the game, there's plenty to think about when it comes to the road ahead for lenders. And then there are millennials, you know, the digital nomads, the generation that grow, that's growing up, that grew up doing not, or everything online. These are the home buyers of the future and their buying habits as well as their digital habits, it doesn't really portray a good future for, for mortgage brokers. Next on the list are primary care physicians. Primary care physicians are those you go to for routine diagnosis. But wearable technology and digital tools are now changing doctor to patient relationship. Patients are starting to shift you know, from being passive to being active participants in their own diagnosis, thanks to advances in technology. We are starting to see a sharp rise in apps for self-diagnosis. There are smart personal wearable devices that can count calories, they can measure your body fat, uh, they can record physical, uh, physical activities, and even make medical decisions. Artificial intelligence systems are learning to interpret X-rays, MRIs, and other images just as a radiologist would do today. An example of this is IBM's Watson. It's, it's a supercomputer that thrives on working with and learning from massive amounts of data. Most of these are still at their infancy though, but the trend is growing. The health and fitness industry is the perfect place to look for these trends. Since artificial intelligence systems can diagnose illnesses, the alternative for most physicians or doctors will be to spend less time diagnosing illnesses and more time on addressing human factors that produce better wellness uh, outcome like 
counseling for obesity, addiction, performance coaching, and addressing urgent conditions like emergency room doctors, of course, you know. And so, of course, artificial intelligence isn't about to completely replace doctors anytime soon, but there is already a shift in healthcare an exponential change in the day-to-day -day work of many physicians. The next on the list are nurses. Again, change in the healthcare industry. So there's so much change happening within the healthcare industry. And there is already a robotic revolution happening in healthcare, wherein robots have made tasks and procedures more efficient and safer. Nursing today is not the same as it was 20 years ago. From technological advancements such as robotic assisted surgery, which could one day replace actual uh, human surgeons and nurses in the operating room, to humanoid nurses robots which have the ability of replacing human nurses in hospital wards maybe in future. There are also companion robots that are designed to provide useful and socially acceptable assistance to people who need special attention like the elderly or the disabled or children with certain illnesses, you know. And there are also automated dispensing uh, uh, robots that can administer medication to patients. Next on the list are farm workers. Imagine a robotic tractor driving along rows of tomato plants with a snip snip sound as weeds are being cut away. Imagine another robotic machine that drives along rows of fruit trees, picking fruits ready for harvest. A drone hovers over a field looking for signs of diseases in crops. In the feedlot of cattle, implanted sensors show which cattle are thriving and which ones are eating less. And from a laptop in the comfort of his home or office, the farm's manager checks data flowing in on crops and livestock. He checks what needs to be done and what needs attention from his laptop. And this is not imagination, but the future of farming. The profession of farm workers is declining, and it's not because people are eating less, but because new technologies in agriculture are getting more and more efficient. Farmers are replacing workers with machinery and getting bigger use out of their small plots of land. And according to the United Nations, the world's population is expected to grow by 2.3 billion people by 2050. And more than 70% of food needs to be produced. And so with the advancement in technology, this food might not be produced by humans. There is already food being produced using 3D printing technology. Future agriculture will use sophisticated high-tech solutions, you know, such as temperature and moisture sensors, aerial images, an army of robots, and GPS technology to grow crops. And so, farm workers of the future won't need to show up for work with a shovel but with a laptop and other smart devices. This calls for upskilling and training for traditional farm workers who will be privileged in future to find jobs in the agricultural sector. It will not be as it used to be. And so the next on the list are administrative assistants. Artificial intelligence is said to play a greater role in office administration. The responsibilities of admin job holders like uh, executive assistants, personal assistant, assistants, or, or receptionists, it usually involves or includes duties, you know, like typing correspondence, uh, making phone calls, uh, managing diaries, organizing meetings and appointments. In most cases, they also act like the, the first point of contact, controlling who has access to a manager or who has access to the CEO, and hence they're also known as gatekeepers. Another key area of administrative assistance duties includes, you know, them booking and, and arranging travel, transportation, as well as accommodation. But artificial intelligence can do nearly all of the above tasks I've mentioned. Already, several apps and systems with just a click of a button exist, which can take over some 
if not all of the duties of an administrative or a personal assistant. For example, voice recognition typing software can be used to send messages without without um, an admin or, or a personal assistant being involved. Voice recognition has replaced the need to type just about anything. Artificial intelligence not only records the words spoken, but also optimizes grammar and can also translate into any language in real time. Next on the list are travel agents. With the prevalence of online agencies and booking sites, this is a career that is already on the decline and is projected to keep shrinking. These days, people simply book their own travel or vacations online. Thanks to, you know, uh, online travel sites like Booking.com or Cheap Flight, everyone is now their own personal travel agent. There's some prediction that there might be an increase in the need for specialized travel agents who are experts, you know, in specific destination or particular niche of travelers, like maybe corporates or those seeking to study abroad or travelers over 55 years old and above. Other than that, the industry of travel agents is shrinking. The next on the line are taxi drivers and truck drivers. Okay, I personally think we still have a long way before we see human drivers out of the car, especially for a continent like Africa. But this is not the case for the developed world though. Automated cars are already on the rise and many taxi drivers and truck drivers in the developed world stand to lose their jobs. The LA Time magazine estimates that 5 million jobs will be lost to self-driving cars alone in the coming years. And so the last on the list are electronic equipment in installers. Electronic equipment installers, as the name, basically installs electric equipment and they test them to ensure that the equipment is working properly and also they can repair, you know, defective equipment parts. The problem here is that over the years, electrical appliances or electrical systems have become better and better and don't really require any maintenance anymore. And these days, people prefer to just watch a YouTube video and do things themselves rather than hiring anyone to do it for them. So those are the list of jobs that I think people should approach with caution. And this is not to say that these jobs aren't still necessary for the time being. No, it's just that the job market and demand are declining. And so if you're looking for a more secure future, these are just, you know, a list for you to, to look through and think carefully, you know, about yourself or about your loved one or about your child. Think carefully before you advise them to get into any of these careers. If you are interested in understanding how technology is changing the world of work, then you can get a copy of my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. It's available on Amazon on both Kindle and paperback. You can search for it by typing my name, Nikki Verd, or you can search by using the book title. I will share the links on the description below. And for those in South Africa that want the book, the book is available at Exclusive Books and Bargain Books nationwide. If this was valuable to you, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video with someone who may benefit from this. I am looking forward to seeing you on my next video.